Within two miles of downtown Boston is a beautiful natural harbor. If properly managed, the harbor and its islands hold great potential, both for natural conservation and outdoor recreation uses. This film is about that harbor. In the past half century, Boston Harbor has undergone a dramatic transformation. Stark footage captured in 1969 by Larry Rosenblum and Derek Lamb showed polluted waters, islands strewn with trash, and a network of abandoned infrastructure on our waterfront. Despite their condition at the time, the islands and the waterfront had possibilities for the future. Through the work of countless advocates, civic leaders, public agencies, and businesses, Boston is a city transformed, reoriented towards its waterfront, its clean harbor, and the Boston Harbor Islands National and State Park. The Boston Harbor cleanup would not have been possible without a $4.5 billion investment in new wastewater treatment facilities at a scale with the needs of a growing city and a growing region. Deer Island Wastewater Treatment Plant, Nut Island Pump Station, and the 9.5 mile outfall took us from one of the dirtiest harbors in the country to one of the cleanest. Boston's downtown, once cut off from the harbor by the busy central artery, is now seamlessly linked to our waterfront via the Rose Kennedy Greenway and the Boston Harbor Walk. The port, struggling in 1969, has expanded into a growing hub for cruise ships and global shipping. Once hesitant to venture out on the dirty water, recreational boaters are now a frequent sight, along with the many marinas and a robust public ferry system. With growing awareness of the effects of climate change and the potential for severe storms, the city and the state have taken action to reduce our carbon footprint and invest in resiliency. The 1969 film was created in part to support the creation of the Boston Harbor Island State Park in 1970. Once the site of garbage dumps, quarantine hospitals, and crumbling military outposts, the park has been transformed into a vibrant, publicly accessible collection of 34 islands and peninsulas for outdoor recreation and learning, most recently being designated a national park area in 1996. No island has been more meaningfully restored than Spectacle. Spectacle Island once housed a horse rendering facility and later was the city's landfill sparkling with broken glass and smoking from underground fires. The island was reclaimed with fill from the Big Dig. It was naturally landscaped and opened to the public in 2006. Today, Spectacle is the second most visited island in the park. Around the harbor, landscapes once neglected, polluted and left to rot and to rust now support vibrant waterfront neighborhoods and healthy marine ecosystems. The changes over the last half century give us hope and help to chart a course for the next 50 years. Join Boston Harbor now in continuing to create a harbor that serves as the heart of our city and our region, one that defines a world-class 21st century city that benefits everyone.